Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. Sorry, I almost said Coffee Craft. That is Tuesday. Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Uh, so just kind of a little programming reminder. Those of you following the stream, this past Tuesday was... Uh, this past Tuesday was pre-recorded, as a couple people found out in the chat. I will endeavor to uh, more clearly label that in the future. Sorry about that. <clears throat> and uh, on Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, we're going to be doing our Season Zero wrap-up of Coffee Craft. And Wednesday, New Year's Day, we're going to be doing... A special Season 1 launch with all four members of the Coffee Craft server. The three founding members and our brand new edition. And on Thursday of next week, we're starting Season 2 of Games Revisited. Where we're going to go through Chrono Trigger. Just like with Knights of the Old Republic, we are not going to go for the speed run kind of as fast as we can. We're not going to linger and loiter either. This is a chance to look at everything the game had to offer and just, you know, crank the nostalgia up to 11 and thoroughly enjoy the game and everything that it had to offer. To include working through this. All right, go ahead. Let me know if you're old enough to remember these guys, the Nintendo Power Guides. <laughs> Uh, I am going to have a little interesting bit because the first couple of pages are either missing or tucked in between a couple other pages. It might have seen a fair amount of use between purchase and now. <laughs> but we'll get into that more when we do the, uh, the first episode of uh, Season 2. And today, like the last couple of weeks, and like we're going to go in the foreseeable future until we figure out a better way to do things, the live stream is going to be a straight run of everything, and I'm going to release it in segments throughout the course of the week on the YouTube channel. So that way, instead of one ginormous two-hour video, there are six or so 20-some-odd-minute videos. And... Uh, Today is going to help me keep better tabs on that sort of thing. So, without any further ado, let's begin our uh, our fun. And let us start the Lost Vikings. <laughs> Again, this came back at this came out um, a long time ago back in the early 90s i, I should have left my notes up from uh, yeah 92. I, I should have um left my notes up from when i went through this on the SNES free of uh last week or the week before anyway here we go new game and again th this is just this week is just going to be a uh run through the levels we're not going to do a speed run we're not going to do a challenge run but we are going to go ahead and enjoy the game at least as far as i managed to get throughout uh this go around so we get kind of introduced to our various characters and um you know eric the red yada yada his family have a nice day honey um this is where they're kind of introducing you to who does what to include that eric is the one that can jump and Olaf's the one who has the shields. Um, I kind of like that they gave you that, that little introduction to who does what. Uh, if you bother to sit through the uh, beginning credits, you could always skip it too. You know, and that Balog, Balog. I never really even figured out how to pronounce that one. Um, he's the one with the actual offensive capability, so... You've got your scout, your defense, your offense, and your scout has the ability to knock down certain walls by hitting them with his head. He can also do the jumps. Olaf, in addition to blocking stuff with his shield, can also do this funky hang glidey thing like he's doing there and float down. Kind of surprised that a, uh, a shield that small could hang glide a viking that stout. He's not stout. He's just big boned, right? Isn't that how that works? Okay. Anyway, let's skip through all that to the part where they get abducted in the middle of the night, maybe? Or is that if I had let it actually run through on its own naturally? 
Yep. Okay. If I had let it continue on its way, on its ponderous way to show you the whole introduction, you would have seen the three guys get abducted by aliens in the middle of the night, and now we get to oh guys, I have a bad feeling about this. All right. Remind myself of what button does what. <laughs> you can get hints if you stand next to the buttons and press A. Gotta remember I'm using an Xbox style controller, so my A and B are backwards. To everything muscle memory of years and years and years of playing Nintendo has trained me. <laughs> Alright, all of us must escape to exit. Press L or R to switch to me and my buddies. Alright, and that's the bow. That's the sword. Bam! Eat it. Lock. And again, I, I really like that back in the NES and SNES days, World 1-1 was always your tutorial world. It was your chance to get a get a chance to uh, feel how things work and get a chance for who does what in a very safe, uh, low-stress environment. All right, so what are we doing here? I don't know. Will you guys just shut up and follow me? Okay. And uh, as a reminder, there was no memory. There was no save for the Lost Vikings at the time it came out. There were passwords that were at the that were given to you at the beginning of the level. It is the same password every time. So, you know, if you had a good friend who had written them all down, you could skip ahead to whatever. Or if you had, you know, if you were a uh, nerdy nerd and kept a little notebook with all the passwords and which ones you actually kind of liked, then, uh, you know, you had that sort of stuff too. All right. And this is where it reminds you that uh, to select an item and how to use an item. So in other words, this, if you look at the top, You'll see the three little pips next to each of the Vikings. That is their hit points. Uh, one fruit will restore one hit point. The big fruits will restore more. Once they take uh, that third hit, they're dead and you cannot complete the level. You have to get all three people alive. You look awfully happy. What are you? Are you the janitor? What's a janitor? And how did I get out of here? You must destroy the ship's computer. This is not a ship. And what's a computer? Never mind. You must find bombs to blow it up. And I love that they just kind of leave it there too. Alright. The plumber's crack is a nice touch. I know there's some bad guys around here. Something. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I knew there was somebody around there. say if I remember right there was a secret oh there it is okay and uh, was there a second one no oh, apparently not okay bam bam kaboom Security will be looking for you. You will only survive if you work as a team. Eh, okay. Let me get that on something not as dangerous. Alright, and now for the great escape. And again, the nice thing is that with this being the early levels, they are definitely fairly simple compared to what's about to come. So you're going to do your blocking thing. Let's get uh, our muscle in here to lay down a little bit of that. And leave the shield there. Down. There we go. Oh, but not too far. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Up. 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 <laughs> oh, I might kill the music and turn on the, uh, the my normal live stream music, though. Uh, maybe I'll do that at the next break. Did you read through the tour? No, I just looked everywhere. Uh, with this game, it was a little bit easier than some of the other games. Um, you just kind of kept banging your head against the wall. Which has the, uh, the benefit of being familiar. <laughs> and away we go. I'm sure I'm going to miss a few of the few of them on the way here, my memory being a little rusty. Bam! Alright, let's get you down this way. Okay, good. Made it through the door. <laughs> Stick close to me, I will lead the way. You wouldn't know which way to lead if you had a map. If you two don't stop fighting, I'm going to have to brain you both. Oh, okay. Good. Now we should be... I can't remember if this is the last one on the space station or not, and I can't remember if it was here that had the, uh... Nope. Okay. Well, he's shaking it off. Let's get everybody on the lift. Okay, let's take a... Oh, okay. That was a short lift. Nope. Okay. Guess not. somewhere. There we go. All that for one little fruit. Up, up, and away. Oh, no, no. Yeah, let's get the shield to go first. Custodians have been all talking about who are these Christonians and why did they bring us here? Tamator, the evil ruler, is collecting unique life forms to display in his gallery. Sounds like a great guy. I do not expect an invitation to dinner. Right. And this is your introduction to some of the other puzzles that end up along the way. You end up having to hunt down keys which you'll use to unlock doors and all sorts of other fun little puzzle traps. Oh, needed more space. There we go. No, nope, guess not. Still, I thought there was another one around here somewhere. Oh. Okay. Nothing there? Okay. There had to have been something in there. Alright. Boom. Boom. Oh. 
dodging and weaving. <laughs> All right, and let's get the key selected. Unlock that door. Oh, no, oh, not the exit yet. Time for a bruiser. Something for everyone. Let's see if I can time this right and get it so that way both those guys are on that side. There we go. A little wiggle room to get everybody in. Come on. Get them. I realize I didn't. Here I am sitting there with that bomb. It's like, let me point at the screen like you can see. Um, if you look in Eric's bottom left inventory slot, that is a uh, device that kills all the bad guys on the screen in one shot. And that would have made that last section just a little bit simpler. Okay. If I bash one more wall in, right now, my head will explode. I got dibs on his helmet. Okay, but I get his boots. Such great, it's great to have such good friends. Alright, is this the last? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, if I remember right, this should be the last one that we do on the spaceship. At which point I will probably call at least this part of uh, episode one. Oh, I did this wrong, didn't I? Alright. Just means it's going to be a little bit harder. That's all. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. And bam. There we go. I mean, I, I totally meant to do that. Those were elite moves. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you buy that... Oh, no! get interesting. Uh, hmm. Because I do appear to have goofed just a little bit and gotten the elevator stuck at the top. Always away. Always away. Alright. Onward and forward through the puzzles. The puzzling puzzles. And guess what, folks? They only get harder from here. Especially if you pay attention to what you're doing and don't walk into the trap. Alright, we got you there. We're walking you back here. Jumped across and gotten the key. Bam. Let's select the key. Uh, let's get everybody in here first. And we'll get you to go. Yep. Okay. This will be interesting. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Too much fun. And I forgot to... Oh, oh bugger. Yes, I did that many, many times on the NES version as well. send through that hot mess over there. You know what? Let's do this then. Let's give you all the good stuff. Let's give it a try. Oop. One hit, two hit. Okay, that wasn't what I was trying to do, but there we go. Turn off the elevators and let's head to the portal. Well, not portal, although that, that is one that I'll have to add to the list of games revisited. It has been long enough for portal to be a classic game, hasn't it? Oh, I so don't want to think about that. Okay. <clears throat> Are you guys sure we want to go in there? <laughs> Maybe it leads back home. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Into the void we go. Into the void. Oh, nope. Looks like we're not home yet. All right, this is where, for those of you watching on YouTube, we're going to kind of end that little bit on YouTube. So let me go to the credits and say thank you for watching along on YouTube. I appreciate the uh, the views, the watch. Hope you had fun. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribed so that way you get notified of new episodes as they go live. If you're watching on the live stream, we will be continuing for a little bit longer. So uh, if you want to see everything as it goes live, including some of the uh, in-between episode chat, use the links below to uh, watch live on Mixer or Twitch, your choice. Uh, I simulcast to both of them, and Restream is kind enough to uh, rebroadcast the chat between the two services. So that is all that fun there, and um, have fun, enjoy, and Twitch guys and gals, stay tuned for just a little bit longer.